Hey YouTube, Shuffle Does here. I'm about to go up on that roof and put on my first layer of rolled asphalt roofing. So right up a little bit on it. Uh, there wasn't a lot of content on YouTube, so hopefully this how-to, or at least instructional video on how I'm installing it based off of some research I've done, uh, hopefully this helps some people because there wasn't a lot of information, but I think what I'm gonna do is gonna work out well. So um, I got the cement, uh, asphalt roofing cement, which is some pretty nasty stuff going down the edge, nailing it on the short side and then rolling it across, nailing on the top. Um, they say every 10 inches, I'll be going every 12 inches so that I hit every roof rafter and then midway between and then I can cut that nail that uh, poked through off and um, that way there's less nails uh, that I got to cut off and in anybody's way of getting schmucked by being underneath it. So let's go up there before it gets too hot. It already is hot. So here I am putting the last couple sheets of half inch OSB on the roof and then I laid a layer of felt paper on. So here I'm cutting it out. It's so much easier to pre-cut these and yes I finished putting the felt paper on at 10 o'clock at night. It was going to rain the next day so I wanted to keep this OSB protected. So now that we are done with the felt paper let's climb on the roof. All right, YouTubers, so to be completely honest with you, I started on this front side, as I just described, and basically went through my process on how I wanna lay this out. If you wanna just skip ahead to the back side where I do more of the instructional how-to and how I did this process, jump ahead to Otherwise, you guys can keep watching me lay down these first three rows of rolled asphalt roofing on the front, and we'll jump to the back in a little bit. All right guys, so I got my roof cement. Pretty thick, nasty stuff here. Wait, hold on. There's more you gotta do before you can start roofing. So this right here that I'm cutting out, this is the drip edge. I'm putting it on the bottom as well as the rake or gable end of the roof. So these pieces have to go on. You don't have to use a drip edge. There's all sorts of other profiles and the internet does a great a little bit. how to. And I'm not gonna show you how I cut and trim mine because there is a lot of information out there on how to cut and make all of these pieces look and fit together great. Turned out pretty well. And I mean, it's gonna be how high up in the air are you even going to notice it?
So what I'm going to do is give you another tip. Pre-cup this stuff. So this is rolled asphalt roofing. It comes in a 36 by 36 feet long roll. So 36 inches wide, 36 feet long. I designed the jungle gym is 12 foot out to out. So it was a full sheet and then a half for the plywood. It's a full 12 foot long uh, fascia. So 36 foot long. I'm gonna cut these at 12 foot long and have them all pre-cut so when I go up there, I can just lay them all in place. Goop it on here on this vertical edge. It's got the consistency of a thin mastic, but it's gooey. So it's a little different, little different texture. So what I do is I get it on this trowel on the bottom side of it and then just kind of slap it on. Your um, drip edge has a couple different ribs in it and that's for alignment, strength, and um, consistency for when you're nailing. You know where to nail. So I'm laying this on the edges. Um, you can lay this at eighth inch to a half inch thick. I'm somewhere above eighth inch in some spots, a little thinner in others, but for the most part I am above eighth inch. I am going to do about a foot or so on this first edge. Just enough so that I got a spot I can stick it and roll it back on itself to get the next little bit good to go. All right. All right, here we go. I'm lining the bottom up with that last rib on the drip edge. Same thing going up, it's that last rib. Uh, this is square, this is square. You have a little bit of play once it's stuck. But you know, sometimes once it's good, you just got to go with it. Double check my line here. So these are inchers. I'm going to switch over to the inch and a half. Now these ones will be visible. So try and get some good alignment. All right. So, now what I'm going to do is roll back to this line and go ideally to this next joist with cement here. See how stringy that is? Good stuff, man. Got a little 
extra, so I'm just moving it down the line. Move that down. Roll it out. And here's that edge I wanted to stay aligned with. And it's going out super nice. Can we put this back on this side? Yeah, I mean, that's perfect. Very happy. And I know I got a rafter right here. So that's where I'm going to put one. You can feel how solid, see here and feel, see how solid that is for the middle. Because they recommend every 10 inches, I'm going every 12. Alright, now if I can reach, I'm going to try to get up there right away too. All right, so here you go. So here's a rolled roofing edge. You got your drip edge installed. You do cement up the edge and nail it every three, four inches. These ones will be left exposed. Those ones up there will get covered by that next sheet. So this is super nice stuff, very happy with it. It's sticking in really good. So, let's keep going. All right guys, so these are three foot sections of rolled roofing. I have a piece that'll lap about 18 inches from the other side. It's just having a seam here, right about 26 inches from the edge, and then having another seam about 24. To me those proportions would just look a little better so right from the ridge down 36 is about there and to keep things a little more consistent I'm gonna go from this edge up and I'm gonna make a mark at 26 and 27 now those two lines again are gonna be for me to know that I have that edge to line up and then that edge about where I wanna stop the uh, roof cement. Also, I wanna measure up and put a little mark where that roof rafter is. Typical overlap coverage is only four to six inches so what I'm doing here is kind of a one-off scenario because the back of this jungle gym roof is pretty small. Climb up and do that side and then I'll move the ladder and do this side. Take your time with layout too. You don't want to really screw this up and kick yourself later for having it look bad. I'm just using simple chalk to mark on here. That way it'll wash off. So I started the edge just like I showed you before, laying down the roof cement and nailing it every three to four inches. Now as you roll this out along the previous section that you put down, you're just hitting those marks that you used uh, the chalk with to make so you know where to put the roof cement and then where to align that next edge of your rolled roofing.
Okay, so I finished up that second roll on the back side here, and now I'm about to do the final rolled roofing piece that will cover the front side, roll up over the ridge, and back down. So I just measured down where that needs to be and did the chalk indication lines so I know where I need to be and where I need to put that roof cement. So it's only a very few simple processes to get this rolled roofing on and adhered to your roof. Troweling on the roof cement, laying the rolled sheet out and nailing it in is basically all you do row after row. Well, when the job's done, and it's hot out, sometimes you need a good hosing off. Also tried to get a little drone footage here. You guys gotta let me know what you think. This is just a little sneak peek of what's to come with this epic timber frame jungle gym build. And that's about all I'm gonna give you cause I'm already in the trees. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate it.